Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions here, and this is Internet Explorer. And as you can tell by the dreadful weather outside, it's time for another video. Internet Explorer was introduced by Microsoft in 1943 and used by George Lopez, the Emperor of Canada, to defeat the Communist States of America in the War of 1969. So basically what I'm doing in this video is I'm taking a look at a few popular websites, a list of which you can find in the description below, and uh, I'm trying them out in four different versions of Internet Explorer 6, 7, 8, and 10. I tried to get 9 working, but I couldn't do it and just wouldn't install for some reason. So this is what we're working with, and we'll see how they differ. So first off here, I tried Google and Internet Explorer 6. Google uh, works pretty good. It's pretty good legacy browser support. It loads kind of this uh, basic version of the site. Here you can see news, videos, and images which I'll demonstrate here in the video. Looking at goggle.com on google.com and Internet Explorer 6, who would have guessed? Uh, this is something you'll see quite a bit of, these security alerts. You can see here I've had to click at least a half a dozen times there to get rid of all of those. Um, and that'll only get worse as the video progresses. Next up I tried youtube.com and Internet Explorer 6. I only show here the ones that do work or do something, um, so that's why I'm including the list of websites that I tried in the description. Here you can see I'm, I'm battling these security alerts. I'm still battling them. Um, that right there alone pretty much makes this unusable, in my opinion. Not not something you would want to use at least. Um, so you get this, uh, please update your browser page from YouTube, that's something else we'll be seeing quite a bit of in this video. You get a lot of these security alerts, yeah, the page contains most, both non-secure and secure items, all of those things, and then it just kind of gives you this long blank page, uh, which is another thing you'll be seeing quite a bit of in this video. So next, um, I tried a bunch of different pages and they didn't work and I uh, eventually got to Reddit which was on the list of top 50 ranked websites on Alexa. Um, I'm not a big fan of Reddit personally and don't use it but uh, I am a fan of their legacy browser support. Um, it's able to load this old version of Reddit. Uh, you do have to click on a few dozen of those error messages but it kind of loads in this. Um, you can at least see what people are posting, which is not stuff I particularly want to see, but if you did want to see it, uh, there you go. Got a bunch of these alerts. I think this is where I get to the point where I'm trying to stop it from loading, and I can't do it. I'm trying to hit enter and stop those things from popping up and stop it from downloading more of them, but... Uh, I guess I was successful at that at some point. Um, I looked at Facebook and uh, I was actually pretty pretty darn surprised that Facebook actually loads um, in Internet Explorer 6, mind you. Uh, they show unsupported browser, so they load the mobile version of the website. And I was actually able to log in and look at my feed on Facebook. Uh, Facebook's another website I don't use very much, but uh, there you go. Again, uh, things that are on there are not things I particularly want to see. Um, I see a guy has a profile picture of the Prodigent mascot, which is appropriate. Um, right here, the page kind of locked up and was scrolling on its own. Um, so we get to slowly see these posts, uh, which I'm sure will draw some interesting comments on this video, but eh, I'm not too interested in those things, and you shouldn't be either, or I should say concerned about them, I guess. Netflix was a, definitely a surprise. Um, <laughs> Netflix eventually, once I get past all these errors, loaded something, surprisingly, very surprisingly, I guess a 
Rock On from me. Netflix uh, supports Internet Explorer 6 in a strange sort of way. So then we move on to Internet Explorer 7. This was the default in uh, Windows Vista. So this is uh, Facebook. Facebook is actually an interesting story because I was not able to enter this login code to log into it, which I was able to do on Internet Explorer 6. So um, 7 is actually worse than 6 in this regard because you can't access Facebook. I was never able to get on there. Uh, I tried Discord. Discord, uh, this is all you get right here. I click on a bunch of these and yeah, you can see here. I kept trying. I was hoping it would at least load a little bit of it, but nah. Um, this is the first, or uh, the oldest version of Internet Explorer currently that will load some of Microsoft's website, um, which you can see here. Uh, YouTube will eventually come up with that um, unsupported browser page after a few of these certificate error pages. Um, but a funny thing about YouTube is that it doesn't load the remind me later button so you can't move past the update your browser. So again, that's kind of a that's kind of a place where Internet Explorer 6 does better than 7, uh, which is very strange, but never mind. Reddit loads just fine once you get past a couple of the certificate error uh, messages. So as you can see here, it loads just fine, it's not broken, and it has the images. They load very slowly, but eventually they do come up. Again, I don't really want to see any of that, so we'll move on to Amazon. Amazon kind of, kind of halfway loads. <laughs> Um, this is about all you get right here. Um, yeah, it's just a really long page. Some of the images slowly started to load in. I think it's an eh from me. Kind of halfway works. eBay is uh, pretty similar. Uh, it kind of halfway loads this really, really long page of broken nothing. It's not usable, so it kind of, uh, yeah really really long pages widely spaced out text which is not very usable so it gets a thumbs down from me uh, I went to Apple's website this is the first version of Internet Explorer that supports Apple or the oldest version I should say once again Apple's website doesn't work very well but it does load it doesn't just say it there's an error loading the page or whatever, so there you go. It's an eh and a thumbs down from me, apparently. Um, and again, of course, Google works fine with Internet Explorer 7. We'll look up goggle.com and I'll demonstrate that it's about the same as Internet Explorer 6. We can look at the images here. It'll give an error, I believe. Yep. Doesn't want to load the images. You can click on that error message and that'll load the images. So here's Internet Explorer 8, the default on Windows 7. Again, I tried Internet Explorer 9, which is what most people used um, with Windows 7 back when uh, it was new and uh, when Internet Explorer 9 was released, but I wasn't able to get it working for some reason. So You can see Bing works fine, or MSN I should say, works fine. Microsoft's website almost loads. Um, it's a little better than 7, um, but nothing really loads beyond the, uh, the header of the website. So get a thumbs down from me. And go to YouTube, and we'll see we get these certificate errors. They all too familiar certificate errors. And we get this page. It actually loads the unsupported browser page properly at least. Now you do the display blocked content and again it just displays a long blank page of nothingness which I show here. And we can look through that whole page and there's nothing there. So it gets a thumbs down from me. 
All right, time to go on to the next page, which is Amazon. Amazon loaded a good bit better with uh, Internet Explorer 8 than it did with 7. Um, it's similar, but it did load the images. So that's uh, an important aspect of Amazon. Although it did lock the browser up right here, as you'll see. I was trying to scroll, and it kind of freezes up. It's very slow. So it gets an eh and a thumbs up. Uh, an eh with a leaning towards thumbs up. Um, Facebook is exactly the same as on 7. I didn't try logging in. It may or may not work. I have no idea. But whatever. It's either the same as 6 or 7. Uh, Reddit loads just perfectly fine without even having to do the display blocked content this time. Um, eBay. You can see we have to do display blocked content and it's kind of similar to 7 although it does load a little bit closer to what it's supposed to look like. It's not all spaced out uh, like it was before. So eBay I believe is going to get a eh with a thumbs down leaning. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And thumbs down leaning there. Uh, Apple's website doesn't even give a display blocked content page or error message I should say. It's just kind of the same as on the other browsers. So it gives a thumbs down and uh, Microsoft's own website doesn't appear to work. Yeah this is kind of strange for some reason Microsoft didn't load at all. This is just a blank screen so yeah Oh, that's that's great, Microsoft. Google.com is about the same as uh, Internet Explorer 7. We can look at Google.com images. Have to just click on one display block content error. Thumbs up on that. So Internet Explorer 11. Now, of course, when you load Internet Explorer 11, um, it'll show that error or not not an error message, but it's a message saying you should use uh, edge. And that's not the last we'll be seeing of similar messages to that. So, of course, Microsoft's own website works just fine. Um, MSN works fine. Google works fine. Most things work fine with Internet Explorer 11. Um, as I understand it, um, certain websites are still kind of phasing out their support for Internet Explorer 11. Um, but yeah, for right now, Google.com works perfectly fine. It's the full version of Google, not the weird old slash mobile version of it that you get with older browsers. Uh, Twitter gets this message right here, and this is, again, not the last we'll be seeing of this. A bunch of websites displayed this message. This was Twitter.com, again. Um, so I tried Twitter on all the other browsers, and this just doesn't work. Uh, again, Wikipedia is a first um, a first entry in this video. Uh, as I recall, Wikipedia once had pretty decent support for legacy browsers, but now it doesn't work on anything pretty much. I mean, it works on Internet Explorer 11, but that's about the oldest it'll go to. Reddit displays this message at the top saying you're using Reddit on an old browser. It tries to load the new version of Reddit, um, whatever that is. I uh, just go back to the old version, as they call it now, and uh, yeah, that works fine. Um, Facebook of obviously supports this. Um, we'll see here. What? Facebook doesn't support Internet Explorer 11. Um, yeah, that's a thumbs down for me, um, because Facebook just worked on Internet Explorer 6, which is from, like, what, 2002 or something like that? I'm not sure. Um, Discord does this. Um, loads the page properly, but you can't actually open Discord in your browser, as you can tell here. Yeah, my friend is clicking there. And uh, YouTube. It gives that error message. A lot of websites give this message. 
I imagine there's probably a way, um, so you see my frustration there, probably a way to get around that. I'm not positive though. Um, eBay works perfectly fine, loads properly, um, no wide, uh, no wide spacing of elements. Uh, we can look uh, for Windows 3.11. That's exactly what I, exactly what I need to be looking up on the eBay. Uh, Amazon works perfectly fine. Um, pretty similar looking to uh, the older versions. I was surprised that Amazon works so well with the older versions of Internet Explorer, like uh, seven and eight. Worked pretty decently in uh, Internet Explorer eight. And upon a search for Windows Vista, thumbs down to Windows 10, but thumbs up to Windows Vista Ultimate, obviously. Now, Office 365 still supports Internet Explorer, but uh, as I understand it, they're phasing that out in August of 2021. So, um, for now, you can use Word in uh, Office 365 in uh, Internet Explorer 11. So as I display here and that gets a thumbs up from me um, not even sure what website I just went to there but it doesn't work so I think that was Apple um, but anyway let's see do I do anything else here no it looks like I just looks like that's the end of the video right there so uh, thanks for watching uh, Internet Explorer is not a good browser to use I would recommend trying whatever the latest version of Chrome is for your um, computer. If you're using older versions of Windows like XP or Vista, try out MyPal. Uh, it's pretty decent. Um, but if you want to use Internet Explorer, uh, those are the websites you can use. So thank you for watching once again. Subscribe if you like goofy videos about old stuff like this. And stay safe out there.